Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and today we're gonna talk about the new units that are coming out tomorrow for the Fan Festa event and we're talking about Circe or Circe or whatever, Circe, uh, Circe and uh, Malfazy. So we're gonna go over their skills, we're gonna go over their Trustmaster and all the kit uh, that they bring. So uh, yeah, let's jump into it guys. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe down below and hopefully you guys can enjoy this little video. So we're going to go with Cerse, which is our number one unit that we're going to talk about right now. Uh, he's a magic attacker and uh, you guys will see that these two new units, they pack a lot of damage. So we're going to go over his TMR, uh, Facade of Balance, uh, it's accessory, magic 45, MP 20% and uh, Fervor is uh, increase LB gauge 50%. So that TMR is actually really, really nice for your magic damage dealers. And that increase in 20% for MP is really, really good since you're going to be able to see that these units, they can burn their MP really, really fast. And it's super TMR. Basically, it's Rod, Sybil Crescent, Attacked 24, Magic 164, MP 20%, and uh, the effect Spiritual Flux, increase LB gauge to crystals per turn. So um, he tends to bring his limit burst up really fast and you guys will see exactly why he wants his limit burst up. So we're going to go down here, the equipment, so basically short knives, daggers or uh, staff, rods, arps and mace, regular, for stu uh, regular stuff for mages, hat, clothes, uh, robe and accessory obviously. So we're going to go over his moves, basically he has predict. Uh, that's going to be the moves you're going to be able to cast twice in one turn. So predict, blazing omen, fire magic damage, 2.6 to one enemy, increase LB gauge 5 to, uh, to caster. Then yes, predict, freezing omen, my ice magic damage, 2.6 to one enemy, 36 MP, same thing. Uh, increase LB gauge 5 to caster. Then he has predict cyclonic omen, wind and earth magic damage 2.6 to one enemy, increase LB gauge. And you can chain this one with Quake Family, which is really nice that they added this right here. So eight times, uh, eight hit move, 36 MP. Then he has predict torrential omen, chaining family with flood, water magic damage 2.6 to one enemy, increase LB gauge 5 to caster, and it's a 12 hit move. Then he has condemn. Uh, basically randomly use uh, like ace where you can randomly cast an ability so he has 15% chance to cast downpour which is water magic damage uh, nine times to all enemy and it chains with flood so this one chains with flood then he has 25% chance to cast sandstorm wind and earth magic damage six times to all enemy this one chains with uh, quake then he has 25% chance to cast flash flash freeze ice magic damage 6.8 to one enemy it's only one hit and you can inflict stop with a 50% chance. So could be good in the arena, but against bosses, you guys know by now that status ailments on bosses are actually really, 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 really rare. Then he has a 35% chance, which is the highest uh, chance you can get this one. Eat wave, fire magic damage, 4.3 to all enemies. So that's a one hit move also. Not that crazy, but randomly use. It's kind of hard to, uh, especially if you want to chain with flood or something i think in that one you're better off just going with uh this one yeah the the uh the modifier is a little bit lower but at least you know what you're chaining but it, it's gonna get better so yes predict ripped uh, rapture magic damage 4.25 would ignore 50 uh, 50 percent spirit to all enemies increase lb gauge 5 to caster and it's a one hit move 54 mp which is not that bad good amount of damage you can do on this one. Then he has Clairvoyance, where you're going to be able to use Predict Skills twice in one turn. So this is actually not that bad. Uh, you can max out his uh, Limit Burst really, really fast with this. Uh, seven star, he has Death Omen. On a six turn cooldown, which you can cast on turn one, increase LB gauge, 20 crystal, bam, right off the bat. And he's going to increase his magic by 50 percent uh, 150% for three turns to the caster so this is really really nice if you want to max out his uh, damage and his magic damage right off the bat 99 mp really expensive but really really good since you're going to be able to see what his limit burst does then he has 110 Uro Boros, five turn cooldown available on turn five magic damage four times to all enemy then he has magic damage four times per turn for three turns to all enemies. So I, I'm not sure, but I guess that on turn, on the second turn, if you cast that, or technically on the sixth turn, if you cast that, sorry, 
uh, at the beginning of every turn or at the end of every turn, uh, the magic damage is just going to fall down by itself. So you won't have to cast it. I don't know if you your character is going to be locked. I don't think so, but I think for the next three turn, that magic attack is just going to keep dropping on the enemies, which is really, really nice. Sorry. Decrease spirit by 60% for three turns to all enemies, so that thing is actually really, really nice. And decrease resistance to all element 50% for three turns to all enemies. And this is where it becomes really fun. Enables access for one turn. So you guys see these things right here? Well, you're going to be able to, for one turn, uh, use them the way you want. So you know exactly what you're going to be casting, which is really, really nice. So all seeing eye, you're going to be able to uh, predict downpour, predict flash freeze, predict heat wave, and predict sandstorm. So these four right here, you're going to be able to use the one that you want to use, which is really, really cool. So for one turn, you'll know exactly what you're going to be casting. So if you want to chain flood, well, right now flood downpour technically is going to be on a 900 percent or a nine times multiplier which is going to be really 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 good so this is for the abilities let's go over the trait increase magic by 30 percent really really nice since he or she is he a he or she give me a second she's a female all right female uh so she can max out their magic a lot so increase magic 50 percent when equipped with a rod rod mastery Oracle's Aura, recover MP 10% per turn, which is really, really strong. Increase resistance to Silent, Confusion, uh, Confuse, and Petrify, which is really, really nice. Especially the Confuse is actually really, really cool. Uh, Oracle's Path, increase Spirit and uh, HP by 20%. Spiritual Oblivion, so the second you give her a TMR, uh, you're going to increase her LB gauge fill rate by another 50%. Increase LB damage by 20%, which is really, really cool. Increase equipment magic by 50% when single uh, single wielding any weapon and increase equipment magic by 50% when dual wielding, which is really, really good. You're going to be able to max out their damage really, really fast. Increase SPR by 20% and Oracle's Wisdom. Increase magic and MP by 40%, which is going to be a lot of MP and a lot of magic. And increase magic and HP by 30% when equipped with a rob. Robe, sorry, not a rob, uh, with a rope, which is pretty standard for any mages in the game. So you're going to be able to max out her magic really, really fast. And uh, that uh, that's actually really, really nice. So we're going to go over here. All Seeing Eye. So the second you use this right here, or Boros, you can use All Seeing Eye for uh, one turn. All Seeing Eye, what it does, use predict skills four times in one turn. So if you guys want to chain Flood... Now is the time. So you can literally cast Flood four times in a row. Or Downpour. Sorry. I call it Flood, but it basically chains with Flood. So you guys can ca cast uh, Downpour four times in one turn. Hopefully you're going to have enough MP because this thing is going to drain your MP really, really fast. But nonetheless, this is actually really, really strong. So you can do a lot of damage with them. Uh, with her. Sorry. And especially if you have two of her. Well, if you use a friend of her and yours. Uh, the damage could be pretty, pretty stupid, which is really, really nice. So for four turns, you guys can use any of these skills. For one turn, sorry, you can cast any of these skills four times. I'm getting mixed up here. So her limit burst is actually where it gets really, really nice. So maxed out magic damage, 24 times multiplier to all enemies. It's 40 crystals, but you can see that she can uh, get her LB up really, really fast. So 24 times multiplier is no joke. Decrease resistance to all elements 60% for 3 turns to all enemy and enables access for 3 turns basically for predict downpour, predict flash freeze, predict heat wave and predict sandstorm. So the second you cast this right here, you unlock these 4 abilities for 3 turns. Which is perfect. Because then you can dual cast them. Which is really nice. So you guys see that she works a lot with her limit burst being up. To be able to cast those abilities a little bit more. So uh, a lot of power coming out of this unit. Uh, she's a really, really cool unit. Really, really nice sprite. And uh, yeah, Cerse, you get a thumbs up. Because you can do a lot of damage. And uh, let's see tomorrow if we can get lucky and get her on our free 10 plus 1. Don't forget about that free 10 plus 1, guys. So let's move on to the next one. As I'm taking a sip of uh, coffee. Ah, uh, this is actually the one unit that I'm really interested in. Malfazy. So, uh, another female. I'm going to get things right right now. Uh, her TMR, Wrapping Bandages. Piece of, uh, it's a Fist, Attack 95, Magic 110, and MP 10%. Her Super TMR, Raven Art, 
Uh, it's an accessory. Gives you 40 on attack, 10 in defense, 40 in magic, 10 in spirit, MP 10%, attack 20%, magic 20%, and you get Ravenheart. Sorry, you get dual cast on it, but you also get Ravenheart, which increase your physical and magic damage against birds and demons. Woo! This is actually really, really nice. So you guys can see she's going to be able to do a lot of damage. And one thing I love about her right here, hybrid attacker, which is going to be sick because you can do a lot of damage with her. So we're going to go over her stuff. Uh, she can equip fists, rods, swords and uh, daggers. Obviously, she can uh, wear a hat, clothes, uh, rope and accessory, which is really, really pretty much standard. Uh, let's move on. As I'm saying, nothing interesting right now. So let's move on to the next one. We're going to go over abilities. It's all hybrid. So right here, uh, one hit. Swooping strike. Hybrid damage 1.8 times multiplier to all enemies. And remove all status effect for all enemies. So basically you dispel the enemy and you do a little bit of damage. Then she has menacing strike. Di dark hybrid damage 4 times to all enemy. And flick stop 30% for 3 turns to all enemies. Flying Strike, win hybrid damage 4 times to all enemy, inflict Confuse 30% chance to inflict Confuse to all enemies, it's a 1 int move. Then she has dual cast in her kit, which is good, because, you know, her super TMR gives you dual cast, but doesn't matter, you can give the super TMR to any other character, and basically give the character dual cast, which is really, really cool. Uh, on her 6 star version, Infection, inflict 1 random status ailment, other percent, 30% uh, and Petrify. 100% to all enemies. So this, it's basically a move for the arena. So if you guys have her, put in your arena team and you can make sure you can petrify the enemies a little bit easier. Uh, level 63, Tenebrous Dive. Dark hybrid damage, 8 times multiplier to one enemy. Decreases dark resistance 50% for 5 turns to one enemy. Add dark element to physical attack for 5 turns to caster. And chaining family, Divine Runation. Woo! She can chain with Orlando. Or Veritas of the Dark. So the second Veritas of the Dark comes out with a 7 star. You guys will be able to chain them together. 50 MP. And Dark Hybrid Damage. Which is really, really nice. So if the boss has lower SPR. You can chain and do even more damage. Which is great. Then Aerial Dive. Wind Hybrid Damage 8 times to 1 enemy. Decrease Wind Resistance by 50% for 5 turns to 1 enemy. Add Wind Element to Physical Attack. 5 turns to Caster. Chaining family, Divine Runation. One more time, you can Divine Runation all day. So 50 MP, really expensive, but really, really nice. Bah, really expensive. Let's say Divine Runation is now 40 MP if you guys awakened it. But still, the multiplier on here, it's really, really nice with the 8 times multiplier. This is no joke. Then she has Feast of Four Crows. Restore 10,000 HP to caster. Mitigate damage taken 75%. For one turn to caster and remove stats break from caster. This is really, really good. So if you're, let's say she got broken, uh, her defense and spirit is down or magic, all the stats are down. Well, guess what? Remove all of that and you can mitigate the damage taken by 75% for one turn. This is really, really good. Uh, and when you get to level 100, hybrid damage, torna uh, 1000 wings, sorry. Hybrid damage, 8 times multiplier to all enemy. Chaining family, tornado. So you guys will be able to chain with any tornado so let's say dark fina bam you can chain that right here if used after thousand wings or thousand wings plus name changes into thousand wing plus all right hybrid damage 11 times to all enemy and uh this is really good 11 times if you chain that twice with another uh Tornado, well, you're going to be dishing out a lot of damage, guys. This is no joke, especially with the hybrid damage. Again, if you're fighting a boss, and uh, let's say the boss has a little bit higher defense, or or higher spirit, sorry, and he has lower defense, well, if you build your character with more attack and less magic, well, you can still dish out a lot of damage. This is really, really good. I'm really excited for this character. Then, at 7 stars, so you will have to pull a second of her, uh, Fiendish Winds. Dark hybrid damage 11 times to all enemy. Chaining family. Finally, you're going to be able to chain with Lunara. She's back. Lunara is going to be back. So if you guys are using Lunara or you have Lunara and you can't use her because nobody has Lunara up. Well, guess what? You're going to be able to do a lot of chaining right here. Because 30 hits, that's going to be 59 hits or 
technically yeah 59 hits if everything drops down below uh real good so this is really really strong then win hybrid damage 11 times to all enemy yeah again oriole ray so you're gonna be able to chain with lunara so if you build your lunara and uh urshi does uh wind and wind and light magic so this right here this is really good if you guys want to do a lot of damage so there's a lot of ways you can build her you can do uh, a lot of builds with a uh, tornado you can build uh with uh veritas of the dark or orlando or even uh eo you guys can now use your luneras so there's a lot of things you can play around with this character so yeah i'm really excited i hope i seriously hope i can pull for that character because she is really 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 nice then she gets intense renser five turn cooldown available on turn one increase physical and magic damage against birds and demons 75 percent you're gonna you're gonna see how much damage she can do she hates birds and demons but you're gonna see how much damage she can do to birds and demons so for three turns to cast her hybrid damage 26 times to one enemy so 2600 percent modifi uh, modifier on her attack this is super super strong so if you get if you can get a chain in and just hit this this is gonna be all kinds of damage this is really really nice then birds of a feather on an eight turn cooldown available on turn one decrease defense and spirit by 74 percent which is a really really strong break for three turns to all enemies and increase lb gauge 10 to all allies this is really really good she th these are really good characters guys i'm not joking if you guys weren't sure about pulling for these units they're going to be really really good characters and then we're going to move on to the trait increase hp 10 percent mp 30 percent uh increase resistance to blind sleep confuse and petrify which is always really nice then she has enables dual wielding of one-handed weapon increase attack and magic 30 percent uh flight increase physical evasion 20 percent increase magic evasion 20 percent uh sake uh scarce seed sorry i was gonna say sacred scar seed recover eight percent mp per turn auto yield 60 per, uh, 60 hp with a 1.2 times multiplier per turn which is actually really nice just getting that extra hp per turn then she has increased attack magic 50 percent when equipped with a fist base here tmr uh wing fiend increased physical and magic damage against birds and demons so another 50 percent another 75 percent right here you're looking at 125 percent and if you have this right here, wait, this right here, you're looking at 150% increased damage to birds and demons. So if you guys are fighting a bird or a demon, whew, the damage is going to be disgusting. Then, Vengeful Sky, chance to counter physical attack 30% with Vengeful Sky. We're going to go over this move after. Uh, required TMR. So if you put her a TMR, increase attack and magic by 20%, increase equipment attack by 30% when dual wielding, increase equipment attack, magic attack, I'm gonna go slower increase equipment magic by 30 percent when dual wielding and increase lb gauge fill rate 50 percent and earth lb is super super good also so increase spr by 20 percent and the last one increase physical and magic damage against birds and demons by another 50 percent so right now if you have everything on her you're gonna be maxing out your demon and uh, bird killer by 200 percent you guys hear me 200 percent in her passive so if you're fighting a demon that's a character to bring she is gonna wreak havoc on that demon or that bird increase modifier four times to thousand wings and thousand wing plus so you increase the modifier on the move and increase your lb damage by 20 percent so vengeful sky what it does decreases attack and magic by 60 percent for four turns to all enemies hybrid damage four times to all enemies so right here chance to counter vengeful sky yeah that's really good so you're gonna break the attack and magic by 60 percent for four turns this is really really good if you have and she has physical evasion if you want to play around illusious nicole you make her as a cover tank give her some evade this is gonna be really funny she's gonna be breaking the attack and magic by 60 percent she's gonna dish out hybrid damage for fun this is really really nice she is really really good and activated by Murderous Intent, so the second you do her LB, win and dark hybrid damage 16 times to all enemy, which is 12 hit. You chain it with Tornado, inflict blind and confuse 100% to all enemies. 70 MP. Her magic, because she has a lot of stuff. Arioga, which is okay. Bioga, uh, Bioga, Blizzadga, 
uh, ice magic damage 8 1.8 to all enemies uh, barrel Olga, which is really nice so if you're fighting a boss that does wind damage you can increase your wind resistance and Iroja basically just you know what do a tornado and uh, hit Iroja to do even more damage which is really really nice so let's go over our limit burst Whew, that's a lot of things to talk about so maxed out limit burst it's a three hit Increase attack and magic 140% for 3 turns to all allies. Hybrid, magic, uh, hybrid damage 27.2 times multiplier to all enemies. Oof! This is... And it's only 20, 30 crystals. So basically, you're getting the same amount of crystals as Heal. And she has a chance to get her limit burst up nice and quick. So, oh man, this is... This is really disgusting. These units are going to do so much damage that it's not even funny. But, man, I got to say, they really went all the way with these units. They look amazing. Uh, I'm looking for this one. She is Malfazy. I If I can get you twice, oh, man, I'm going to be so happy because you're going to be dishing out a lot of damage. They're, they're amazing, guys. Seriously, I did not expect them to bring characters that strong that can do a lot of damage they look really really cool and uh, not for anything but Malfazy that's gonna be the character I'm gonna go for because I love hybrid damage she can chain with Orlando she can chain with Lunera uh, tornado chain yes please yes please and her TMR is really really good and her super TMR is actually really really good also so guys let me know down below sorry it was a long video but let me know down below what you think about those units are you guys gonna pull for them and if you do tell me which one you're gonna be looking for to get guys hopefully you enjoyed this video subscribe for more leave a like down below on this video and i'll catch you guys on the next one peace